Okay, so let's continue. So example nga dito yung plasmodium which the, is the the organism responsible for malaria. So nandun sa uh, sa structure ng uh, plasmodium meron siyang apical complex. So dito ano dito dito siya maghuhok dun sa host cell. So yan yung ano pwedeng siya mag uh, na yung mechanism niya para ma, ma ma infect yung host cell. So other forms you have uh, cryptosporidium parvum. So this uh, this can cause intestinal symptoms. So pag contaminated yung drinking water, uh, this can cause epidemic diarrhea. Yung Thalaria uh, microti. So this causes recurring fever. So kung yung blood ano mo yung dugo merong ganyang uh, parasite so this can be fatal so this is a common trans transfusion transmitted pathogen in the US I mentioned also this yung toxoplasma gondii so kaya yung mga doctors they advise pregnant women to stay away or not uh, keep cats kasi nga uh, yung uh, mga cat feces uh, pwede sila mag-carry nung uh, yung parasite na Toxoplasma gondi and this can lead to serious birth defects so yung advice ng sa mga uh, pregnant women eh, wag mag-keep ng cats or stay away from cats because of this danger Okay, so besides that, it can also be from uncooked meat, vegetable, and fruits na unwashed. Okay, so it's important mahugas mabuti yung gulay natin. Okay, so under ciliates, most of these are not pathogenic. Uh, so ang, ang common feature niya, of course, is the cilia. And although, although some are not used for, most is used for locomotion and feeding, but there, there are some forms na hindi, na hindi naman motile or hindi gumagalaw. So the only pathogen uh, we will study here is yung Balantidium coli, uh, but this is not... Uh, this is easily eradicated. No? So kung strong ang immune system mo, madaling matanggal itong uh, sakit. So it rarely causes uh, serious medical issues except in immunocompromised uh, patients. So those with, their, with weak immune system. So pag may AIDS or uh, other autoimmune disease, yun lang magkakaproblema. Okay. So yeah, it causes in intestinal disease. So it's a picture ng uh, Balantidium coli. So yun yung trophozoid form niya. So itong paramecium, it's not uh, disease causing pero uh, model organism siya na pinag-aaralan. Pinakita ko na yung picture niya. No? So, meron siyang cytoproc, may cytostome, uh, and uh, marami siya sa, marami yung population niya sa pond water usually. You have also stentor. So, this is cecil. So, ibig sabihin, naka, ano lang siya, parang lang halaman na naka hold fast lang sa isang surface or naka, hindi gumagalaw. So, it uses its cilia for uh, feeding. Hindi naman, uh, hindi pala ito naka, ano, basta hindi siya gumagalaw, hindi siya naka, 
of its surface, so it's on surface. So you have uh, sa mga stellates na to, you have a micronucleus. So bukod sa macronucleus siya, meron siyang micronucleus. So itong micronucleus na to, uh, two N sets of chromosome ang meron. So it's diploid. Somatic. So, coming from the body. So it's used for sexual reproduction by conjugation. Okay. So paano ba nangyari yung sexual reproduction sa paramecium or sa mga ciliates? So, ito nangyari dyan. So, it starts with the, the macronucleus uh, becoming polyploid. So, maraming set of, maraming set of chromosomes siya. And has a reduced set of metabolic genes. So, ito ulit, ito ulit structure ng paramecium. So, may contractile vacuole casilia, micronucleus. Nandito, macronucleus yung malaki. Oral groove, so dyan papasok yung cyto, ito yung cytostome. So may cilia ka dyan. Tapos may cytoproc and the uh, anal pore. Okay. So again, you have the contractile buckles that allow the organism to excrete excess water without affecting the, the plasma membrane. So paano sila nag produce so, gagamitin natin yung macronucleus at saka micronucleus siya. So, magtatabi yung dalawang ciliates. Okay. So, the two cells will attach to each other. So, yung micronuclei mo will undergo meiosis. So, from the two N set of chromosome, magiging one N or N set of chromosome lang. So, magiging eight haploid nuclei each. So, mag-disintegrate lahat except for one haploid uh, nuclei. Okay? So, nandun pa rin sa cell yun, no? So, the remaining uh, haploid uh, micronuclei undergoes mitosis. So, mag-divide siya. So, once na mag-divide, so remember, uh, wala pang exchange nangyayari dyan. No? So once that happens, they exchange one micronucleus each. So transfer ng micronucleus. Yung isa bibigay sa isa. Yung isa bibigay sa isa. Tapos what will happen, it will fuse with the remaining micronucleus na natira dun sa cell. So this will form a genetically different kasi nga nag-fuse ka dun sa kabilang micronucleus. So this will produce a genetically different uh, micronucleus. Okay? So from haploid, naging diploid ulisha. So after that, meron ng genetic diversity yung uh, micronucleus mo. This diploid uh, micronucleus undergoes two mitotic division. So each cell has four uh, micronuclei. So, yung two mag-perform ng new macronucleus. Okay? And then the chromosome to the macronucleus then repeats, replicates repeatedly. So, once the macronucleus reaches its polypoid, uh, polypoid state, mag-separate na yung cell. So, now you have genetic material from the other cell na halipat na dun sa kabilang cell and vice versa. So, ito yung example ng stentor, no? So, hindi siya uh, motile, so it's not moving around, pero meron siyang cilia para yung food particles pumasok dito sa, sa ano niya, sa system niya. You have also uh, umicytes. So, these are water molds. So may similarities siya sa fungi. The only difference is that the umicytes have uh, cellulose in their, in their cell wall. While yung sa fungi, uh, chitin yung nasa cell wall niya. And for most, of it, for most of its life, the water molds are diploid. While sa fungi, 
they are uh, typically haploid. So itong example ng water moods, no? So itong insect, na engulf siya ng water moods. So that's the saprobic homicide. So yung water mold na yan. So under the supergroup excavata, so the term itself, it uh, refers to the depression on the surface of the cell called an excavate. So merong depression. So we will look at the groups that are found under excavata. Among them, yung diniscuss na natin, Gargia lamblia. So, this causes a severe diarrhea and uh, it is spread through cyst in uh, feces through contaminated water supplies. So, they lack uh, mitochondria, but they have flagella. Under the subgroup, Parabasalia, so these are endosymbionts. So they live in mutualistic uh, uh, symbiosis with termites and cockroaches. So they have uh, basal bodies and modified uh, mitochondria like uh, uh, kinetoplastids. Okay. So they have large complex cell structure with an undulating membrane and often have many flagella. Example of this, another example of this is the sexually transmitted disease, uh, trichomoniasis. So the uh, species responsible for that is the trichomonas vaginalis. So sa lalaki, wala siyang symptoms, but the men are able to trans transmit that from person to person. So in women, it may lead to vaginal discomfort and discharge and uh, may cause complications in pregnancy if left untreated. Uh, Euglenozoa, this uh, group, they're common in the environment. So many shang photosynthetic and non-photosynthetic uh, species. So most are not disease-causing. So on common features on you have two flagella, pellicle, you have the stigma or the eye spot. So usually red pigment yan to sense light, and you have chloroplast for for photosynthesis. So only a few are parasitic pathogens. So pag-usapan natin yung mga uh, pathogens caused by this group. So among them you have the species Trypanosoma bruci or brucei and uh, Trypanosoma cruzi. So these are known, known uh, trypanosomes. So yung Trypanosoma, uh, trypanosoma bruci, so this causes uh, African trypa, trypanosomiasis. So uh, in other words, it's it's also called African sleeping sickness. So, ang nagka-transfer sa kanya yung sese fly. So, ang mangyayari sa kanya, pag ma-infect, it will colonize the blood and the brain after being transmitted via the bite. So, it will lead to confusion, difficulty sleeping, and lack of coordination. So, if you leave it untreated, it will kill the person. You have also uh, another species which causes the Chagas disease, or otherwise called American trypanosomiasis. So it's named American because of the origin from Latin America, and it's common there. So you have the insect triatoma, under the genus triatoma. So these are the kissing bugs. So the insects transmit that and uh, the disease affects either the heart tissue or the tissues of the digestive system. So when you leave it, when you leave it untreated, it will lead to heart failure, uh, significant digestive or neurological problems. 
So ito yung standard uh, Yublena structure. So may flagellum ka, eye spot. You have the nucleus. So yung chloroplast niya, you're able to produce uh, glucose. Eventually, this will become starch. So the starch is stored by the in uh, vacuoles. And you have the pellicle, nucleolus, contractile vacuole, photoreceptor, which is a paraflagellar body. Okay? So basically, this is how, this is the life cycle of the Trypanosoma bruchi or the African sleeping sickness. So let's start with the infected uh, fly. So they bite the person and then you introduce the T. bruchi in the uh, blood system. So it undergoes binary fission in the blood, limb, uh, blood, the lymph, and the spinal cord. So infected na yung buong tao, no? So uh, another uh, tsetse fly will bite the person and yun, uh, ma-introduce na yung, yung uh, organism pupunta sa mid-gut ng fly. So it multiplies by binary fission. And then it becomes its infectious stage. So pupunta na sa salivary gland no, uh, no fly. So the whole process repeats itself. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay, so that will be the coverage of our quiz next meeting. So from page one to slide 55. So hindi kasama na itong parasitic helmets. Okay? Any questions ba? Hello, questions. So if there are no questions, see you next meeting.